Hey everybody, Nullface here with an Eternal Evolution video trying to cover a bunch of stuff that's going on in the game right now. So Twilight has come to a close, but we do have a new Rise of Heroes event. This one focused on Kalaza. If you're new to this, uh, one of the things to make sure is come up here. Uh, I've already done it today. It says weekly, but you can purchase additional tickets each day with diamonds. It's always good to max those out. Then you can go into the scrolling stages. Uh, for hard, go ahead and sweep whatever's in there, and then come back to normal and just sweep 110 as many times as you have tickets left for. In fact, I actually have a little bit more here. There we go. Now I'll actually have another boss ticket. You can do that. Uh, if you can clear the hell boss on day one, I was able to go into the raffle shop and pull on the pool until I get the basically the first and second tier rewards maxed out for each one. And I was able to get through all of the prize pools that have the gene hybrids in there. So if you look at one through five, we have limited tickets. Uh, after that, six through 15 have these gene hybrid fragments. I think I made it to round 18 last time with a couple in there that had pretty bad RNG. So if you are able to clear hell boss right away, you shouldn't have to worry too much about uh, pulling too many trying to get those the second tier rewards in here. So uh, Rise of Heroes, generally fantastic event, very generous. Uh, love the rewards from it. Unfortunately, my Colossus is already maxed out, and I actually mean maxed and not just immortal uh, as of a couple days ago, but it'll still be uh, be good to pick up some, some rewards from there. Uh, we, of course, also have the new hero, Bata, here, who I have not looked at at all yet. So let's go take a quick preview of the skills and see. Oh, I love that. Both the green theme as well as the music notes. That is awesome. They really nailed the art on this character, and that is a gigantic tail. Holy hell. <laughs> All right. So let's see what she does. Uh, passive. Entering the battlefield. Summons a fountain of life in the back row. Okay, that's nice. Fountain is charged. Immediately provides a shield. Lowest HP. Equal to 40% of somebody's max HP. And 300 energy. Wow. Okay, so that's a one-time deal, but still very nice. I hope it's this character's max HP and, and not that one, or not the target. Falling Light plays the flute, healing allies within a range. Okay, uh, for 2.4% of Bada's max HP. Good to see. All right, so this will be another HP stacking one. Uh, flute also increases the damage. Very nice. Uh, ally with the lowest HP for 5% of, again, Bada's. It's good that that's consistent. Uh, healing target Bada's also healed. Very nice. Okay. Good sustain. Let's see what this alt is here. Healing a target ally for 22%. Wow. Uh, if you can get her HP up to, you know, one and a half million or so, that's some pretty significant heals there, even on a tank. Uh, healing is increased to 50%. Wow. That... That is gigantic. Uh, I guess I wasn't looking too much at the talents. When healing an ally, pull all enemies towards the target through this. Interesting. Hmm. That would uh, that would make for some really good Leo alts. Uh, I can see that. Bodice heals for 50%. Damage boost lasts longer. Very cool. Let's see what else is in the talent tree. These are standard ones. Uh, gain additional energy. Cooldown. Participating, gain energy. Okay, yeah, those are our standard. That's like a pretty, pretty good kit. Uh, be curious to see how she performs compared to uh, to Masrani and and Serena. Pretty confident she'd outperform Lyran pretty quickly. Uh, I've not been overall very impressed with Lyran's hearing, he hearing healing. Uh, so I'll have to do some testing on that later. Uh, hopefully later today I'll get some free time to go ahead and actually pull some chips and, and see what we can get there. Uh, also, there are a few codes right now. Go ahead and use those as well, and I'll post these in the video description as well. So 25k followers gift. Wow, that's... <laughs> Very nice. The, their codes have been so generous. Just overall, uh, what you get 
from the game has been pretty generous. Also very nice. So definitely use those before they expire. Uh, then one other thing that I did want to note uh, in the store, actually, for anybody who does spend on the game, the special pack has switched from just Serena shards to Mimic Soul shards, so this is now much more flexible for rounding out your roster. And the monthly passes, uh, so these got reworked today, and this one went from 15 of these and one of these, and one of the advanced tickets to double it, you know, they basically doubled all the, the best rewards and then added two more uh, basic summons on top of it. So they've pretty much doubled the daily value or more on that. Uh, and the same over here, it went from one two hour box and 200 diamonds to the two hour box, 500 diamonds, and now a four hour rubelite as well. So they just straight up buffed the monthly passes. So I'll probably be picking these up at some point in the future here as well. Uh, it's pretty good, you know, pretty good daily value for that. So I, I tend to run those. And I think that about wraps it up for what we had that's new today. Uh, pretty good update, Summon Arena coming soon. I'll try to post some videos. You can all watch me lose horribly in those fights. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Do not have high hopes there, but that's okay. So I hope everyone is doing well in Rise of Heroes and that you have some good RNG on those rolls. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care.